Welcome back guys, Troy here from Corsair Heli Flight Training. Uh, today we're going to look at the main rotor blades on our twin screw which is in the hangar at the moment for a 600 hourly service and have a bit of a discussion about the actual blades themselves and how they attach to the helicopter and how they actually fly. So a fully composite uh, construction, the main rotor blades on the, on the squirrel here. We've got a stainless steel leading edge, which is a bit of a protective cover uh, for the blade. Obviously on the leading edge side, there's um, a lot more air impacting that side of the blade and debris and that would break down the composite construction. So they fit a stainless steel leading edge uh, to offer a little bit more protection to the blade. All right, here at the blade root of our main rotor blade, we can have a look at the pins that actually attach it to the main rotor system. Now these steel pins, there's two of these that slide through our blade bushes and the blade sleeve will actually come over the top of the bush and the pins will slot straight through holding our main rotor sleeve to the main rotor blade. Although these blades are fitted to a semi-rigid Starflex rotor system, our blade manufacturers have built in some flexibility into our main rotor blades to allow them to absorb some of the aerodynamic forces during flight. I can demonstrate this by flexing the blade from the blade root. So here at the tip of our main rotor blade, if we come around and have a look at the shape, you'll notice it's an aerofoil shape, exactly the same as an aeroplane wing. So as an aeroplane uses its wing for lift production, on a helicopter, we use our main rotor blade to produce the lift and allow the helicopter to fly. 